Drage gledateljice i dragi gledatelji, dobrodošli. Ja sam Ines Žižić, a vi gledate Atma Podcast. Moj večerašnji gost pridružuje mi se online, a on je s vami Đotir Maja, svjetski poznat učitelj joge i meditacije, te jedan od vodećih predavača Međunarodne organizacije Art of Living ili umijeće življenja, obrazovne i humanitarne organizacije koju je 1981. osnovao i utemeljio poznati indijski guru Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. Povod našeg večerašnjeg razgovora je na dolazeće gostovanje Šri Šri Ravi Šankara, osnivača i glavnog duhovnog učitelja Art of Livinga, koji u sklopu svoje evropske turneje uskoro dolazi i u Zagreb, gdje će održati radionicu pod nazivom Šesto čulo, večer mudrosti i meditacije. Pa krenimo! Swami Jyotir Maya, namaste and welcome to our podcast. It's my pleasure, thank you. It's my, it's my pleasure. Uh, također, za sve gledatelje koji će gledati, ovo je naš prevoditelj Luka. Luka, Dobro, hvala ti što ćeš prevoditi uh, naš večerašnji podcast. Uh, Jyotir Maya, Sami, I'm very much honored uh, to have you here. Uh, you are joining us from Lithuania, I think. Right now, Ines, you are right. I just came to Vilnius uh, in Lithuania. Yeah. Upravo si, Ines. Baš sam trenutno u Vilniusu, u Litvi. Um, let me start uh, by asking you this question. Uh, in my experience, I see more and more people uh, getting to know yoga, breathing techniques, meditation, also in this area. And um, also some of them like lament and they say, okay, I try, I, uh, you know, practice some kind of yoga, I meditate a little bit, you know, I know some asanas, uh, some breathing techniques, but still I'm having problems, you know, with an anxiety, with depression, with stress, uh, I still have feelings of, you know, resentment, toxic relationships and feelings. So on the other side, I see a person like you who has really like mastered the the art of you know staying undisturbed uh calm in this changing world you know and but also you have this you know bliss in you uh this uh, joyfulness simplicity so what is your secret how how can one uh, get to this deeper level of spiritual life of spiritual practices uh, i just want to say remain in now in our self because you in as you mentioned everything is changing in this world so everything is changing then it's not worth it to hold it the the, the real wealth to go back to yourself samo što mi reći da je vrijedno ostati u sebi u jastvu i onako se sve mijenja zato je važno stalno biti u jastvu u sebstvu u sebi and uh, neither at home nor at to school nobody taught us how to handle our own guilty consciousness regret or uh, anger niti u školi niti kod kuće nismo naučeni uh, kako se nositi sa um, žalom sa ljutnjom sa krivnjom the purpose of practicing spirituality yoga meditation is Before misery comes, it gets dissolved, disappeared. Svrha u vježbanju joge, meditacije i svih tih stvari, tehnika je da prije nego što uh, jad dođe, da se raspline. And all the spiritual practices has to go with the care and shame. You have to take care of others, needy people, environment. This is also very important in the yoga. No? Yoga not just in the physical uh, stretching exercise, no. It's a, it's a whole. Znači, poanta joge nije samo istezanje, uh, fizička vježba, nego je poanta u dijeljenju, u uh, bivanju tu za druge, bivanju cijelina, da, da osjetimo da smo svi cijelina. 
So when we thank thank you very much. So when we are talking about um, who we are, about our true selves, what would you? How would you explain what is our true self? Because if we don't know who we are, we will definitely have like different uh, priorities in life. If we don't know where do we come from, we don't know where do we go. So what do you say? What is our real self? And also, what is our higher purpose in life? Uh, first of all, you and me, we don't have the memory of our own birth. Right? Yeah. And we are not going to remember our death also. Self doesn't have any any age. Self is infinite. Prije svega, mi se ne sjećamo niti našeg rođenja. Nećemo se sjećati niti naše smrti. Jastvo je beskonačno. Because self is immortal, eternal. Jastvo je besmrtno. Because our body has a limitation. Naše tijelo ima ograničenja. Our senses are more powerful than your physical body. Naša su osjetila puno snažnija nego fizičko tijelo. If you, you can see the beautiful landscape from the 25 kilometers away, 30 kilometers away, you can see it, but reaching to that place takes effort, time. Možeš vidjeti predivno krajobraz, krajolik sa velike udaljenosti, sa 30, 25, 30 kilometara, ali da dođeš do tamo treba vremena. So your senses are much powerful than your body, but... Senses also has a limitation. Zato su osjetila snažnije od tijela, ali osjetila isto imaju svoje ograničenja. Your mind is much higher than your senses. Tvoj je um na višoj razini nego osjetila. You can sit in Zagreb, but you can, no time you can reach to, the, to Frankfurt through your mind. Možeš, na primjer, sjediti u Zagrebu, a bez problema možeš u umu biti u Frankfurtu. But mind also give you sometimes completely delusion, wrong understanding. Ali um nekad daje potpuno krivo razumijevanje. For example, we think, oh, sun is rising, sun is setting, but through the intellect we know sun is neither rising or setting. Na primjer, ako pogledamo sunce, možemo misliti sunce se diže i zalazi, ali mi kroz intelekt znamo da ono niti se diže, niti zalazi. So your intellect is much higher than your mind. Zato je tvoj intelekt još viši od tvojeg uma. But supreme in you, that is you. Ali ono vrhunsko u tebi je si ti. There is no form, there is no smell. That's your space. Nema mirisa, nema forme, samo čisti prostor. And what is what is our role in this world, in this world of duality, in this material world? Why why are we here in the clutches of birth and death? Sounds like a punishment <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a punishment, you know, the students go to the university and the school to learn. It's not a punishment, it's like a learning process, right? To nije kazna, to je kao kad student ide na faks da nauči nešto. Treba nešto naučiti kroz ovaj život, zar ne? And this is a very worthy question to ask ourselves, who am I, what is the purpose of my life? To je jako vrijedno pitanje da se zapitamo tko sam ja, koja je moja svrha u životu. Out of 8 billion people, how many people get this kind of thought? Who am I? What is the, where I'm heading in my life? What I really want? Od 8 milijardi ljudi na ovom svijetu, koliko se njih zapita ko sam ja, gdje idem u ovom svijetu? You may not get the answers very soon, but still moving in towards that infinity. That's itself you lots of solace and peace and more energy in your life. 
možda nećeš dobiti odgovor odmah, ali kretanje kroz tu beskonačnost ti daje neku mir, mirnoću i a, opuštenost. But we have to understand billions of years passed in this planet. Moramo razumjeti da su milijarde godina prošle na ovom planetu. And millions of people going to come. Ja, milijarde ljudi su prošle, milijarde milijoni će doći. Where is our life? Gdje je naš život? 60 years, 80 years of life. 60 godina, 80 godina života. Once you are aware of this short period of life, what happens? You are really coming to the present moment. You are not going to waste your time. You start celebrating and loving everything around you. Kad postaneš svjestan tog te kratkosti života, postaneš biti u sadašnjem trenutku i počneš biti u ljubavi i u razumijevanju sa svima oko sebe. And we are here to solve our problems one after another, then another, another. No, it's life too short to solve all your problems. The only thing, once your energy is very high, problems get solved by itself. Nismo tu da bi rješavali probleme koji dolaze jedni za drugima. Oni će stalno dolaziti. Tu smo da dignemo energiju i da se sami rješavaju problemi. Dopustimo da se oni sami rješavaju. So what, how can one uh, get to this higher level of vibration of energy? What are the processes of that? I as I understood you you said that just this quest for the purposeful life for the life for the searching for the meaning of life is our like a way like a path it's enough and it leads us to higher and higher uh, knowledge we need a teacher we need a guru trebamo učitelja trebamo guru da nas vodi it's very important one masters presence in our life physical physical presence jako je važno imati fizičku uh, učit fizičkog učitelja u našem životu you know that's why we are doing this pro- program called the sixth sense with the gurudev shri shri ravishankar ji coming to croatia after long 10 years zato je radimo ovaj program šesto čulo sa Guru Devom Shri Shri Ravi Shankaram uh, koji dolazi u Zagreb. We will not only just listen and discuss, we get a glimpse of the sixth sense. Nećemo samo slušati i uh, diskutirati, dobit ćemo uvid u šesto čulo. Through the power of meditation. Kroz moć meditacije. And Guru Dev is already contributed the world nearly more than half a billion people got benefited through out of living various programs a guru dev do prinio toliko već u svijetu već je više od pola milijardi ljudi imalo benefit od programa koje je on pokrenuo that's amazing i'm so looking forward to this program and as you said he's coming after 10 years and he will be in zagreb from the 2nd until the 4th of june and uh, there will be this big like a program uh, which is called like sixth sense the evening of meditation and the uh, spirituality something like that evening of wisdom and meditation yes and uh, what would you say uh, why are you, why are you so much inspired by shishi ravi shankar and what would you say are his highest achievements Uh, in a I, I never planned to start spiritual life in my life because I was completely left brain person more very very logical in a ja nisam imao plan završiti u spiritualnosti bio sam više orijentiran lijevoj strani mozga jako logična osoba uh The real inspiration came because of the social service project which we are doing in Art of Living Organization. Prava inspiracija je došla kroz uh, programe socijalne osvještenosti koje radimo kroz uh, Art of Living Organization. 
we are taking care of more than 82000 students education in india primimo se za edukaciju više od 82000 studenata u indiji and globally we have a program for the uh, gangsters mafia members and prisoners imamo programe za za članove mafije bandi zatvorenike right now in turkey we have a uh, Um, trauma relief activity is going next month uh, in end of june i will be there in turkey trenutno u turskoj imamo programe za otpuštanje stresa i traume tokom lipnja ću biti u turskoj da im pomognem and especially the sudarshan kriya the breathing technique which we uh, practice in natafrin that's it's really really transformation a posebice uh, sudršan krija, tehnika disanja koju uh, prakticiramo u Art of Livingu, to je stvarno transformirajuća. That gives you a glimpse of what who who you re- really are. To ti daje uvid, malo malo zrnce u ono što si ti zapravo. And it won't take time to experience it. In the very first session of the program you get that glimpse. Ne treba puno vremena da to iskusiš, već na prvom sjedenju sa sudršan krijom dobiš taj mali uvid. It's very profound, very unique breathing exercise at the same time very easy to practice. Vrlo je jedinstvena tehnika disanja, a vrlo je zapravo jednostavno za prakti- prakticiranje. Our art of living trainers in Croatia, all over Croatia, they conduct in this program time to time in different villages, towns, cities, yeah. Znači, treneri Art of Livinga diljem Hrvatske provode ove programe ove, u puno gradova. So, like, uh, spiritual uh, technique which you practice in uh, Art of Living is like combination of Sudarshan Kriya, of uh, some kind of meditation, also yoga asanas, I guess, and combined with the spiritual knowledge. Am I right? Absolutely, absolutely. We have a program called uh, uh, Sahaj Samadhi Meditation. It's a mantra-based meditation. The Sudarshan Kriya is a breathing technique. Yeah. Absolutno. U pravu si imamo i programe sa, uh, za meditaciju. Sahaj Samadhi Meditacija, gdje se meditira na mantru. Uh, ima raznih programa. Nice. Do you also have like special uh, tips for your like uh, advanced uh, students which are like attempting to have like initiation or something? Do you like recommend some kind of lifestyle? I don't know, vegetarianism or something? <laughs> uh, I would suggest uh, uh, all of you to meditate every day. If you are not able to meditate, at least not long meditation you can we have a n number of uh, meditations in the gurudev shri shri ravi shankar's youtube channel you can just go it's free you can just put your headphone and listen yeah ja bi zapravo preporučio svima da svaki dan nađu vremena da malo meditiraju uh, ako ne mogu doći na ove programe mogu otići na uh, gurudev kanal Shri Shri Ravi Shankar uh, YouTube kanal gdje ima jako puno meditacija koje su sve besplatne i tamo da nađu neku za sebe. And I would suggest you to those who are listening this podcast at least for seven days you drop using the all kinds of uh, processed sugar. Uh, bilo bi dobro da slušate i ovaj podcast naravno a uz to ne bi bilo loše da sedam dana se odreknete svog šećera. You can use date syrups, honey, agave syrup, that all. Just seven days. Samo sedam dana možete koristiti datulje, sirup od datulja, agavin sirup. Then mm-hmm. you can see the change in your body and mind. A onda ćete vidjeti promjene u umu i tijelu. You know why I have been meditating and doing this Sudarshan Kriya last uh, 20, more than 25 years. Ja sam meditira, meditiram i radim ovu tehniku Sudarshan Kriju u zadnjih 25 godina, više od 25 godina. And I dropped this uh, process sugar now more than for bit more than 14 years. A otrekao sam se procesuiranog šećera već prije 14 godina. No, too much consumption of sugar spoils your immune system, immu- immunity. 
znate, previše šećera, o, ako konzumirate previše šećera, on vam kvari imunitet. Yeah, thank you very much. That's a good start. <laughs> Maybe vegetarianism is like too much <laughs> for someone, somebody. Let's start with something, with sugar. Okay, let's talk a little bit about intuition now. So how would you describe in your own words, what is this uh, intuition? Is it like a voice of God, you know, from within? Like as the Vedic scriptures would say, paramatma, you know, a higher self, like a divine. And also how to make this thing, uh, how to distinguish this uh, voice of divinity of our higher self with the, you know, regular voice of our mind and thoughts? Intuition, gut feeling, we all have it. Intuiciju, uh, neki osjećaj u trbuhu, svi mi imamo to. Even the birds and animals they have. Čak i ptice, životinje, i oni imaju. Because they're so aligned with the nature. Zato što su jako u skladu sa prirodom. So what we have to do, we have to nurture our intuitive power. Što moramo raditi? Moramo njegovati tu intuicijsku moć. You know, it's, you know, in Art of Lean Gurudev uh, introduced the intuition process for the children, 8 year to 16, 17 year old children in Europe, few thousands of children, now they can read the books with the blindfold. Even you keep the book behind their head, they can read it. Wow, amazing. Znači, Gurudev je pokrenuo program koji se zove program intuicije za djecu od 8 do 16, gdje djeca uče intuicijskim procesima da mogu čak sa vremenom čitati knjige zatvorenih očiju, čak ako im se stavi knjige iza glave. So Gurudev is coming to Croatia after 10 years. This not just a meditation evening, this is much, much higher than that, the sixth sense. So important. Gurudev dolazi nakon 10 godina u Hrvatsku i ovo nije samo večer mudrosti i meditacije, to je puno više, jako je važno. And before coming to Croatia, Gurudev will be in the European Parliament and there will be a seminar on mental well-being in the fragmented world. A prije nego što dođe u Hrvatsku, Gurudev će posjetiti Brisel, Europski parlament, gdje će govoriti o mentalnom zdravlju i dobrobitima mentalnog zdravlja. There will be a member of parliaments, uh, uh, CEOs of the companies, yeah. Biće to društvo uh, parlamentaraca, visokih uh, menadžera, kompanija. Because if you want to progress in your spirituality, you, you need uh, intuitive power. Ako želiš napredovati u duhovnosti, trebaju ti intuicijske moći. That's listening to your si- inner silence. That then all the intuition blossoms in you. To je slušanje vlastite unutarnje tišine, a onda intuicija procvjeta u tebi. And is it basically uh, the same thing, intuition and sixth sense? Is it, are we talking about the same thing here? If you are activate, the sixth sense intuition is already there. Ah. Ako, ako aktivirate šesto čulo, intuicija je već tamo. So tell us more, tell us a little bit more about this mystery of sixth sense, how can we activate it? <laughs> mystery has to be remain as a mystery, that's why we are calling mystery. Misterija mora ostati misterija, zato je zovemo misterija. It's not a magic or something out there. This is our nature, we have all these qualities. Nije neka magija koja je tamo izvana negdje. Mi svi imamo te kvalitete. Ines, I'm sure you had the experience. Once you share with your, you're sitting with your family members or your friends, maybe some of them are going to ask some question or something to you. Before that you ask, then they say, hey, that's what I'm going to ask you. Yes. Ines, sigurno si iskusila ovaj, neku situaciju, na primjer sjediš sa obitelji i pomisliš na neko pitanje i uh, neko ga umjesto tebe već postavi. Kažeš, hej, baš sam to htjela pitati. Haven't you this experience? Yes, many times. Yeah. Yeah. We all have the intuitive power, but a little more attention, 
systematically what happens that really blossoms in you svi mi imamo te intuicijske moći ali šta moramo samo staviti malo pažnje na to i to odmah procvjeta u tebi and any age group any people can get this there is no limitation there is no restrictions u tome ne postoje granice ljudi svih dobnih dobnih skupina mogu to nema nikakvih granica ograničenja and do you no need to practice for meditation for long time then i'm going to get intuition no the children which we are teaching in 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 within one hour one and a half hours they get this power i ne moraš dugo meditirati prakticirati meditaciju na primjer djeca koja su tek počela već za sat vremena uberu i imaju te neke sposobnosti Wow, amazing. You said that uh, Shishi Ravi Shankar is holding the seminar in uh, European Union about uh, uh, mental health in a uh, in a world. Am I right? Fragmented world. In a fragmented world. So, I wanted to ask you a little bit about this fragmented world we are living in. I mean, uh we know that we live in a world which is always constantly changing. It's nothing new and it's also changing right in front of our eyes at the present moment you know so many things are happening so how can one stay you know undisturbed and calm in all these you know political social economical changes which affect us all you know how can one uh, spiritually understand this but also not to be you know selfish in his own little world but to also be you know socially active to help the society i don't know do you understand me not to think only oh let me let me practice my own little spiritual life and you know who cares about others <laughs> you know you're you're right you know uh, spirituality means not just go deep into yourself yes you can go deep into yourself inner peace and outer dynamism once mm-hmm. you start experience in the peace and love within what we have to do it's natural we start sharing it we take more responsibility of the society that's why we are doing many many social service project myself i spent a few months in the border of uh, ukraine with the once the uh, war started pravo se ne sa to je tako ali ne ne staje tu samo na unutarnjem miru mi kažemo unutarnji mir i vanjski dinamizam. Znači, kroz taj unutarnji mir postaneš dinamičan i postaneš, počneš raditi promjenu u svijetu. Naprimjer, ja sam kad je krenuo, krenuo rat u Ukrajini, tri mjeseca proveo tamo na samoj granici sa Rusijom. So how was your experience there? How, how do you, you know, from the spiritual perspective, how do you uh, understand this concept of, of war, you know? How do you help people to cope with it to understand it? Unfortunately, uh this is happening in the world because of lack of belongingness. Nažalost to se dešava u svijetu zbog manjka pripadnosti. That's why uh this uh, spiritual knowledge has to reach out to every corner of the world. Zato je važno da ovo duhovno znanje dođe do svakog kutka svijeta. Now the world is one side is lots of depression. Millions of people are depressed and other side of the coin more aggression. Danas u svijetu imamo na jednu stranu toliko puno depresije, milioni ljudi imaju problema s tim, a na drugu stranu jako puno agresije. In Belgium recently I was there a couple of months back they were saying 30 plus percentage of the society the youth are under deep depression Sorry Swami ji where where you have been in Belgium in Brussels ah, in Brussels nedavno je Swami ji bio u Briselu u Belgiji više od 30% mladih ima problema sa depresijom So psychiatrists and psychologists they're overwhelmed they don't know how to help psiholozi psihijatri su preplavljeni ne znaju kako da se uh, pozabave time kako da to riješe this is one side another side now we all watched and read about this what happened in belgrade a couple of weeks back 
to je jedna strana. Druga strana je, uh, na primjer, ovo što se desilo u Beogradu pred par tjedana. So unless until people are not aware of themselves, respecting themselves, honoring themselves, environment, this will continue. God se ljudi ne uh, postanu svjesni sebe, počnu cijeniti sebe, uh, to će se dešavati i u, i u okolini i nama. Do you think maybe that the root cause of this, you know, me- meaningless of this depression is like a wrong identification, you know, with the body, not having spiritual knowledge, spiritual meaning. Is it a root cause? Spiritual. Uh, the root cause, I would say, stress. Korinski problem bi ja rekao da je stres. Lots of wanting. Puno želja. And the attitude, I want to be always first. I stav, želim uvijek biti na prvom mjestu. Yeah. And all thinking about what going to happen to me, what going to happen to me, that leads you to depression. Pitanja kao što su što će se desiti sa mnom u budućnosti, to dovodi do depresije. Yes, yes, I understand. But if we go deeper and deeper, so if we, if we ask what is the root, root cause of the stress, I somehow always think that it's more spiritual thing that we don't know who we are and what is our purpose. So we having this wrong identification and, and make wrong choices for ourselves and uh, misery is like, you know, result of that. Can we say it like this? So one way we can say we are on this planet not the very first time. We had been here n number of times in a different body. Neki na moj način možemo reći ovo nam nije prvi put na ovoj planeti. Već smo puno puta bili u raznim tijelima na ovoj planeti. Might be those who you can consider them as your enemy now. They might be your some friends in the past or something like that. So everything is energy. So life is a continuation. Whatever you keep the hatred inside you, that's what you come back. Možda neki ljudi kojima, koje danas smatraš neprijateljima su u prošlim životima bili tvoji prijatelji. Sve to, sva ta energija je kontinuitet. So what we have to do, our responsibility in this life, što moramo napraviti? Koje su naše odgovornosti u ovom životu? Ask yourself, who am I? Pitati se, tko sam ja? And understand everything is impermanent. I da shvatimo da je sve netrajno. It's not worth to hold on to this perishable thing. Nije vrijedno držati se za nešto što će nestati. Only who is observing all these problems, that's what your self is. That is powerful. One koji promatra sve ove probleme, to je on tko ti jesi. But you can listen all this, you can read all this, then it will help you intellectually to understand for some time. But that's not enough. Možeš slušati ove stvari, čitati o njima, Shvatiti to intelektualno, da ti pomogne da to shvatiš intelektualno, ali to nije dovoljno. Do we need a proper guidance and some simple techniques? Trebaš pravo vodstvo i neko jednostavne tehnike. Once you reach the goal, if you start connecting with yourself, then you have no need of any techniques, nothing. Jednom kad dođeš do cilja i povežeš se sa samim sobom, ne trebaš imati nikakve tehnike. Ne moraš se ničime baviti. It's like a small babies, once they start, they born and they, you know, they start crawling, then they start walking, then the mother and father, they have to help them to, but once they start walking, they just walk. Kao mala djeca, trebaju na početku pomoći da krenu hodati, ali jedno kad krenu hodati, to je to. So what would you say is the result of good spiritual practice? Oh, I would say all the spiritual practices are very good. 
स्पिरिचुअलिटी मीन्स अपलिफ्टिंग योर ओन एनर्जी योर ओन स्पिरिट Ja bih rekao da su sve duhovne prakse dobre. Duhovno znači podizati svoj vlastiti duh, svoju energiju. And start with a drinking of water, breathe deep, all small, small steps you can take. Možete početi sa malim koracima, pite dosta vode, budite svjesni disanja, dubokog disanja. You know, 60%, 70% of our body is just water element. Znate, 60-70% našeg tijela je element vode. And many of us are not drinking in a water. A mnogi od nas ne piju dovoljno vode. Even we are not breathing deep enough. Čak i ne dišemo dovoljno duboko. Because, you know, we are using only 30%, 40% of our lung capacity. Znate, koristimo samo 30-40% našeg kapaciteta pluća. Then what happens all the toxins and uh, impurities accumulate in your system? Što se dešava onda toksini se akumuliraju u našem sistemu. So deep breathing also very important. Zato je duboko disanje jako važno. And as long as is the breath that money we can live otherwise there is no life everything ends. Dok odima dah kako možemo živjeti kad ga nestane sve nestaje. Yes, I agree. Let's start with the small steps, you know, like basic ones, and it will lead us to higher and higher, you know, uh, destinations in our spiritual quest. I wanted to ask you one more question about karma, because I think it's um, it's a concept, it's a law that's very important for us to understand, because if we understand karma and how it works, it will help us in so many ways that we will have more responsibility for our lives and that we will have more power over our lives that we will not play victimhood you know so what what would you say uh, in your own words what is karma how would you describe uh, karma to the people uh, in the west in like basic terms basic terms action and reaction every action there is an opposite reaction right the same way whatever we do it will come back to us if you plant an apple tree you get apple if you plant a cherry you get a cherry but if you plant some jackfruit it takes years to get the fruit so everything depends upon your action what you do that will come back to you but nothing beyond karma everything connected to your karma sve je povezano sa karmom znači karma je najbazičnija akcija i reakcija ako posadimo jabuku dobićemo jabuku ako posadimo trešnju dobićemo trešnju ako posadimo jackfruit onda ćemo dobiti jackfruit ali njemu će trebati duže vremena sve je ta akcija i reakcija What would you say to people who say I don't believe in karma? What would you say to them? That's their karma. <laughs> That's their karma. karma. <laughs> And also I want to ask you what is the what is it, in your opinion uh this I I like this about you know people who are into spirituality. They say everything is fine there are so many ways to divinity to god everything is fine but we have so many people in the world that think there only there's only one way you know only way one way to god only one religion only one name and so many people in the world i like this what is your message what are you thinking about this you look so at the name hmm so many problems so mu- so many wars hatred you know in the name of love for god yeah right uh, you know you look at the uh, nature now it's a spring time you can see god didn't create just one type of flowers god didn't create just one type of uh, trees znači možeš pogledati prirodu bog nije stvorio samo jednu vrstu cvijeća pogotovo sad u proljeće Bog nije stvorio samo jednu vrstu drveća. So celebrate the diversity. Slavite različitost. You know, 
there are in croatia sagra few days back i was there, there are, i see you can see lots of difference of bread nedavno sam bio u zagrebu ovaj vidio sam puno različitih vrsta kruha but the substance of the bread is the same but it's a different flavor different forms different color ali substanca kruha je ista iako je on u različitim oblicima različitim bojama so ultimately the divine is the only one ultimativno božansko je samo jedno this is we are to teach our children to je ono što moramo naučiti našu djecu we should not put uh, uh, hatred towards with, to, towards any religion or spirituality it's not good ne bi trebali imati mržnju prema nikakvoj religiji prema nikakvoj drugoj spiritualnosti to nije dobro but fortunately now more and more our youngsters they are much much positive towards all this on sva sreća sve više i više vidimo mladih koji su pozitivni prema svemu tome they, they care about the environment they care about humans more than the religion brinu o okolišu brinu više o ljudima nego o religijama so there is a hope in this planet zato postoji nada na ovoj planeti i am still not understanding how people are getting time to fight each other hate each other there is not enough time to love each other on on this planet here for 60 70 80 years of time i dalje ne razumijem kako i ljudi imaju vremena za mržnju kad nema vremena niti za ljubav u svih tih kratkih 60 80 godina našeg života you celebrate the diversity and you follow your path what which your religion or which your spirituality you follow you follow that that's fine but don't think other all the religion are bad or all other spirituality practices are bad only my this is very narrow minded osto sve religije sve sve uh, spiritualnosti i slijedi svoj put ne misliti da je nešto bolje ili loše od drugog to je if, mali um na djelu if you like you can ask me one more question is it okay Yes sure. I would ask you a little bit more about Shri Ravi Shankar. I I don't know so much about him. What is his like uh, history uh, how he became like so much uh, known throughout the world and what can be expect in Zagreb? Are there, is it going to be only one uh, program with him or like more? Yeah, uh Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar ji founded the Art of Living 43 years ago. and the vision of art of living mission of art of living stress free war free or violence free society and see a smile on everyone's face that's a mission and vision of art of living and uh, one of the largest volunteer based organization in the planet now the art of living je jedna od najvećih organizacija na planeti danas shri shankar ji je osnovao art of living pre 43 godine njegova visija, misija i vizija je da uh, svijet bude bez stresa, uh, bez ratova i da svaka osoba na svom licu ima osmijeh. And uh, now we are in more than 180 countries. Sad smo prisutni u više od 180 zemalja. In Art of Living with Gurudev, we, we, nothing to do with the religion or politics or language or culture. We, we celebrate everything. Art of Living nema veze sa politikom, sa religijom, sa kulturom. Mi u Art of Livingu slavimo sve. And uh, this year we are going to celebrate the 43rd year of Art of Living in Washington DC. So uh, thousands of artists from all over the world will come and uh, perform. Znači, uh, ove godine ćemo proslaviti 43 godine postojanja Art of Livinga u Va- Washingtonu. Uh, tisuće izvođača artista će biti prisutni godine postojanja Art of Livinga u Va- Washingtonu uh, tisuće izvođača artista će biti prisutni a isto vremeno i uh, jako važne osobe but we don't have a olympic for the artist nemamo platformu za artiste za umjetnike so that's why this is a fourth time we had one in uh, Berlin Uh, in 
thousands of people joined from all over Europe, all over the world and such a performance, artist and celebration, sharing and loving, yeah. Ovo je uh, četvrti put da imamo tako slavlje. Uh, 2011. smo imali tako slavlje u Berlinu. Bilo je tako predivno, puno uh, predivnih izvođača, ljudi iz cijelog svijeta. So I'm taking this opportunity to invite all of you to come and join with the Gurudev Shri Ravi Shankar ji on June 2nd. Uh, Luka can mention the venue. Yeah. Uh, Koristio bi ovu priliku da pozovim sve da se dođu upoznati sa Guru Devom Šriši Ravi Šankarom Džijem, da dođu u Bočarski dom 2. lipnja i 3. lipnja ćemo imati isto tako dan sa Guru Džijem, gdje ćemo provesti ovaj, u jednom intimnom druženju sa njime kroz meditaciju, kroz znanje. Nemojte propustiti priliku, stvarno je jedinstvena. Mhm. Hvala, znači Bočarski dom u 18 sati 2.6. Je li tako? Je li to tako subota? Je, boč... To je petak, drugi šestog, a subota je treći. Isto će biti Aha. u Bočarskom domu program. Ok, ajde to ćemo još sve također napisati u opisu videa i u prikvaćenom komentaru, tako da gledatelji ono sigurno mogu ovaj, i stavit ćemo linkove vaše. Uh, prvo da se zahvalim ovaj. Thank you so much for your time, for your wisdom, for your inspiration. Uh, I wish you all the best in your efforts and uh, I hope to see you in Zagreb. You have lots of energy. You are so beautiful. Like, your smile is so beautiful. The same, all the luck in your life and spiritually go deeper. And yeah, so lots of love to all the viewers. Thank you. You are so beautiful. You are so happy. 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 Hvala, hvala. Thank you.